Meredith. It's winter in central Pennsylvania and for many of us that means shoveling snow. Let's explore some poses that might help keep us from getting so sore after a day of shoveling. Remember, I'm not a medical professional. I am not licensed to diagnose or treat any medical condition. Let's start out on all fours. We want our shoulders, arms, and wrists all in line and our hips over our knees. We'll start out with some cat cows. On an inhale, lift your tailbone, let your belly drop, chest forward, face forward for cow. And as we exhale, the tailbone tucks, the belly button lifts toward the spine and our chin comes to our chest for cat. Inhale, inhale cow, tailbone lifts, chest forward, and exhale, cat, tailbone tucks, chin to chest. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Beautiful. Returning to a neutral spine, shift the weight to the left hand, and on an inhale, lift the right arm up toward the ceiling, opening up the chest to the right, reaching long through the fingertips. And as you exhale, feed the right arm underneath the left, bringing your right shoulder and the right side of your face to the mat. Inhale, press into the mat with the left, reaching the right arm up and return it to the mat. Beautiful. On an inhale, shift the weight to the right hand, lifting the left arm up, opening up the chest to the left. And as you exhale, feed the left arm underneath the right, bringing the left shoulder and the left side of the face to the mat. Inhale, press into the mat with the right hand, lifting the left arm up and return it to the mat. Coming to lie on your belly on the mat, keeping your palms on the mat, top press into the top of your feet, lifting your head and chest for cobra. If it's not possible for you to lift this high, you can stay on your forearms for a baby cobra. We're breathing. Beautiful. Coming back through all fours, we want our knees a little bit more than hip distance apart. Bring your toes together. Sink your hips to your heels, bringing your chest between your knees, forehead to the mat for child's pose. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful. Coming through all fours, tuck your toes under, press into the mat and lift your hips for downward facing dog. 
We're pressing our heels toward the mat, but they don't need to touch. And we're pressing our chest toward our thighs. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. We're breathing, pressing our heels, moving deeper into the stretch. Beautiful. Coming down to all fours. Cross your heels and sit back and join me on your back on the mat. With your feet flat on the mat, knees bent, bring your knees into your chest and give them a hug. Relax the lower back and breathe into the pose. Beautiful. Release the knees, keeping the legs bent. Arms out to the side at a T. Let the knees fall to the right, keeping them together. It doesn't matter how far your knees go, as long as you keep both shoulders on the mat. Our yoga practice is not a competition. Don't force your body to do anything that causes you pain. Beautiful, and return to center. And let, keeping the knees together, let the knees fall to the left. Keeping both shoulders on the mat. And return to center. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a beautiful day.